Hey everybody, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. You haven't seen my face, my ugly mug, for a long time. Anyways, I just thought I'd put a video together that's been inspired over the last few weeks, or last week or so. Last week, there was a bit of tension between me and somebody else. And you know what? He ends up being a good guy. Forget all this stuff. We get all past all our whatever, problems. He's a good guy. Leave it at that. Um, so I thought, you know, this business got a lot of people with egos, me included, but I'm not really in this business, but you know, I'm a male. I got my chromosome thing going on. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What matters is how do you handle all these egos? How do you handle all this stuff when you're just trying to help people? There's a lot of people out there that hate on there's a lot of people that just want to see you fail. I heard one quote of, you can give them a $10 million check, and they still won't be happy. So, pff, who cares? Move on from them. So, in this business, hedge funds, investment banks, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of egos in there. They're going to try and crush you. The funny thing is that these, what these people don't realize is the tech guy has pretty well run the whole show. You know, you probably heard about uh, this IEX thing and this New York Times thing uh, that seems to be taking over everything uh, in terms of <clears throat> uh, people wanting to crush this other little operation. So this guy from Toronto, here, Toronto, um, uh, from RBC, my bank, Royal Bank of Canada, decides to start up this fund, or sorry, this operation to trade openly. And I think that's good. That, that takes a lot of guts to do. Um, and he teaches people, and his team teaches basically these, um, I don't want to come off bad, but they really don't have a clue on how the technology works. And he tries to educate these people, and they go, oh, oh let's sign up. Let's sign up for the service, which is good. But the thing is, what really uh, made me pause, that's really important, is I don't care if I fail, and I don't care if you fail. What really matters is a lot of people can succeed. You know, London Kwan's a good example. Ernie Chan's another good example that really succeed in this business that run million, maybe multi-million, whatever. They're doing well. Good on them. And then there's going to be a bunch of guys, maybe like me, maybe like you, that are going to fail. But it's like riding a horse. If you fail, you get up and you try again. Okay, you don't want to end up like Christopher Reed, but um, you just get back in the saddle and you try again. And even if you die on your deathbed, at least you can say you tried. Now, a lot of people ask me, what, what, what do I look for? I look for people that are really innovative, that are highly driven, that want to succeed, that got passion, that got technical chops, that have, okay, maybe they don't have the mathematical chops. I'm one of them. But that's where the passion and the drive comes in to, to, to really make you succeed. Because that's what really important that's what really is really important. Um, especially for young people out there. Maybe they are spent, oh, I don't know, a quarter million dollars on some education. They can't find a job and it used to pay half a million dollars and those jobs aren't aren't out there as much. And most of all, it's so fierce of competition, it's crazy. That's why I try to push this independent trading thing. Because there is a lot of potential with it. You just got to work at it. And it takes a lot of guts to do it. Especially for non-technical people as well. Because they have even a higher mountain to climb. So the key to it all is you got to try. You know what I mean? You got to pull out, pull out all the stops. And get up on your horse or bike or whatever and try. I mean, and ride. And keep going until you get it. Um... The cool thing about all of this is um, not just what happened last week, but, well, actually, something else happened the week tonight, last week. Part of my meetup that I run in a restaurant here locally in Toronto, there was a really young guy, and it turned out he was 17. I was like, golly gee. And then he started telling his story about what he built at the age of 17. I mean, this is a fully automated trading system at the age of 17. And I'm not kidding you when I say this. This is a, a young guy with a lot of passion. 
And by the age of 17, he's built his own trading platform. So he's now looking somewhere out there for someone to take him on as an intern. And I suggested a couple of places. I don't know where he ended up. But imagine that at the age of 17. I've been programming since I've been 14, so that puts me probably, I don't want to say well over 30 years, but it's not quite, 30, well, it's over 30 years, that's for sure. But, um, again, uh, it doesn't matter when you start or how old, but again, you try, try, try again. It's a passion and all that. Most of all, you cannot be a person that uh, thinks uh, you're going to buy, let's say, uh, a, a push button technology and that's going to make you an instant millionaire the next day. Those things don't exist. And if they did, you will probably have a very short lived profit potential with it. And you're going to be wasting at the end of the day your money. So, do you really want to do that? So, again, everything's on you and it comes down to three letters D I Y. Do it yourself. Okay. I thought I'd put that out there for everybody. Uh, and anybody that's really young, get into this stuff. Control your future. Control your your your, your long term destiny. That's what it's about. Um, and uh, there's not. A lot, I mean, there are jobs out there, but do you really want to be slugging it out at some probably job you don't like? And you could even end get end up laid off or fired, or and it could take you six months or three months or a year to get a job. So going down this path can offer a lot of opportunity. So. I thought I'd put that out there. Thanks to anybody out there that believes in what I do. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for even just visiting once. It doesn't matter. You're there. You're one step closer to some sort of solution maybe you're looking for. I'd like to help you out and blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty genuine about it. I've got a pretty uh, big uh, subscription base now of almost, I think it's almost 1,200 people on my YouTube channel. I honestly did not think it would ever get that big. Um, and bigger than that, even with all through the social media and stuff. So, again, to everybody who's been following me, thanks a lot. To anybody I may have had collision courses with, uh, hey, man, I just try to be a nice guy. I'm just defending my territory and whatever. But at the end of the day, a lot of people can end up being really cool people and really respectful in that. And kudos to anybody where I may have stepped on their toes and vice versa. And let's all be big boys and move on and probably maybe coheves one day and maybe put something together that everybody can uh, profit off of, let's say. All right, so hopefully I'll see you soon. I want to see you do something with anything trading. I don't care what it is. Even if you fail, I want to hear about it and uh, get something going. All right, talk to you later.